Mr. Scott, you are quite sure you will not join me. This is the only luxury I permit myself. Oh, well, thank you. It tends to rust. You still do not trust me. Should I? No. What is the plan, Mr. Scott? Do you have a small roof garden? A terrace high on the side of the building, yes. Can it be seen from the ground? No, although it is not safe to stand direct in it. All right, now, we'll radio directions to Bangkok. Now, just before dawn, a light plane with time markings will pass over. Now, will the Chinese patrols in the area fire on it? No. Now, if I signal them, if they see me and the signal is correct, then on the second passing, they'll drop the money. After the money is dropped, what is to prevent me from doing something dreadful and outrageous like your queen of hearts and chopping off all your heads? Is that a hypothetical question? At the moment. Have you ever seen an ostrich egg? Well, if I don't deliver that girl in three days in Bangkok, then on the fourth day, a great silver bird is going to come from out of the sky and drop an egg about the size of an ostrich egg, you see. Now, the seismographs in Tokyo and Moscow won't record it, but you, General, will be a small explosion about a thousand feet high, and this temple will be a hole in the ground. Now, Miss Faulkner's father is involved in the manufacture of warheads, you see, which range from tons to megatons. Now, that is not hypothesis. That is fact. Now, he's wealthy enough to find mercenaries who will do just about anything he says. Mr. Scott, does my relationship with Miss Faulkner surprise you? Well, to be frank, General, everything about this whole thing surprises me. I don't even believe half of what my eyes see, and this thing isn't even over yet. No, it is not over yet. Do you understand it? No. Neither do I. It is a great mystery to me. The plan to obtain the money from her father was hers. Did you know that? Completely. I know nothing of women, Mr. Scott. They are not... my cup of tea. I am what you used to call in your country a war lord, Mr. Scott. A relic of the very, very old feudal system in my country. Hunted men fleeing over the surface of the land that was once theirs. Totally savage in their will to survive. Tell me, what is there in this girl? that could open to such a creature. Will she go away from you? That is not the question. Should I keep her and let your bird drop its egg? you are, my lord. 